Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Faker and Order video. What am I talking about today? It's that time once again, even though I literally just finished the cycle of uh, units that are coming out from a previous banner. It's, I missed one. <laughs> I forgot that the 20 million download pickup summon didn't just have Castoria. It had other units on it <laughs> that were uh, other units on it. I don't know why. There's so many damn units. I do know why. It's because this is the first time they introduced Pity into the game. So they brought back everyone uh, in a Nightmare Force. So today's video, I'm going to be going over the unit that released technically yesterday, which is Miss Crane, and the unit that's coming out today, which is Jolter. Because you can see here on the schedule, boom, boom, boom. And there we go. And that's how I'll do it. Let's go right into it. So we'll start with Miss Crane. Miss Crane is a caster. She is limited. She has one quick, three arts, one buster. Three hits on the quick, four hits on the arts, two hits on the buster, five hits on the extra. Her active skills are a lady's affection for garments EX, grants parties invincibility except for self for one turn, increases parties crit star generation rate except for self for three turns, gains crit stars based on the number of costume owning servants except for self, and then her star rate is 100% and the costume owning stars are 10 and the cooldown is 5. Her second skill is One Night Coat B, charges on MP gauge, 500% chance to deal 2000 damage when, without killing self, 500% chance to draw attention to all enemies the party except for self by 300% for 3 turns and then it's 100% NP on a cooldown of 7. Third skill is 1000 years gratitude. Increases one ally's critical star absorption for three turns, increases their critical damage for three turns, grants them instant kill immunity for three turns, and then a 500% chance to deal 1000 damage without killing the self. The absorption is 500% and the crit damage is 50% on a cooldown of five. Her two passives are territory creation uh, at atelier C plus and item construction close. Uh, which is a special increased parties receive boss success rate to specifically just units with clothes. Uh, oh, well, no. Increases parties buff receives success rate by 10% while self is on the field. My bad. Her third skill is an anti-ruler attack damage aptitude, and her noble phantasm is the Teni Muyo Soro no Enshin Namari no Wakari, aka the perfect beauty without flaw, the crane's grateful song of parting. Rank EX Noble Phantasm, it's anti-unit, can only be used when there are 20 crit stars or more, increases first ally's attack except for self for 3 turns, increases their MP damage by 30% for 3 turns, move self to the last reserve slot, can only move if there are 2 other party members left in the field. The note here is that after moving, the servant who comes out is the leftmost, the leftmost one in the sub-slot. Unlike the order change, the possession change will reset the deck so it becomes the first turn of a new command card cycle. The attack up at MP level 1 is 20%, and if you get her all the way to MP5, it's 40%. And then on overcharge, she charges first ally's MP gauge except for self, it's 30% on charge level 1. And if you get her all the way to the final charge level, it is 50%. And that is Miss Crane. I really like Miss Crane and wish I had Miss Crane. <laughs> She is good. My brother actually has Miss Crane and uh, and uses her from time to time. Um, she's a very fun support unit, first of all, because she is mostly focused on owning costume owning allies, which is anyone with a um, <clears throat> costume dress. So a lot of these units kind of get um, buffs from her right here. Uh, the way she buffs is also really cool because she actually just leaves the field, which can open up a lot of opportunities. Um, unit, the reason that not a lot of units have the ability to kind of do this is because a lot of units who do end up doing this can really shift a lot of stuff in game. Uh, a good example is the reason why everyone uses Order Charge for the Mystic Codes is because it offers you another servant. The reason Arash is so good is that he literally removes a servant, so it's kind of like you, he removes himself, so that's a very good way to like change with the order. Um, the reason Chen Gong is so good is because he removes the unit and then replaces it with a new unit that can continue buffing. Like, you see what I'm saying here, it's a very nice effect to have. Uh, that's why they have such a harsh restriction in it, which is the 20 crit stars needed. But depending on the units and depending on the team build, it shouldn't be that hard to get 20 crit stars. Um, 
it shouldn't be really that tough. Again, it really, really kind of depends on team build, so maybe she can't be used with every single team build. But I do really like her, um, and I think she's cool, and I think she's neat. And I really kind of wish I could get her. Um, the fact she's releasing the same time as Da Vinci, and I have like one multi to give, is really, really annoying. Um, so I kind of have to make a choice on this one. Uh, but yeah, that's Miss Crane. I think she's a solid unit. Should you, uh, is she probably like a must get support unit? I don't think so, but I think she's a very good support unit that you can use in plenty of team builds. Um, probably something similar to Himiko, where it's like, I probably wouldn't tell people to outright go for Miss, uh, for Himiko, because it really kind of depends on your box, but if you have Himiko, she's an amazing unit. She's like one of my favorite units to use for Buster uh, team builds and stuff like that. So it ends up being like this, like, um, it's like a tier under from the units that I would consider. No, no matter what, get them. Like Astoria, Vich, Oberon, and to some extent, one of the Scotties, um, either Caster or uh, Ruler, depending on which is most quickly available to you. So yeah, that's Miss Crane. Uh, next, the unit that's actually being released today, Jean the Arc Alter, also known as Jalter. She is an Avenger with one quick, two arts, two buster, with three hits on the quick, two hits on the arts, four hits on the buster, and seven hits on our extra. Her first skill is Self-Modification EX, increases his own critical damage for three turns, increases his own crit star absorption for three turns, 50% crit damage and 800% uh, absorption on a cooldown of five. Her second skill is Dragon Witch EX, increases the party's attack for three turns, then increases the, the attack of Dragon Allies for three turns, 20% and 20%. And her third skill, which is the long-awaited strengthening that does not show up on NA, until very long from now <laughs> japan just got it so it's gonna be a very long time increase own buster performance for one turn grant self invincibility for one turn charges on mp gauge uh 500 chance to deal a thousand damage without killing the self she got a 50 percent um np charger which is really what she badly needed because she did not have that um one of the things she needed. Avenger B, Oblivion Correction A, and Self-Replenishment Magic A+. Third skill is Anti-Avenger Attack Damage Aptitude, because I guess she just really hates herself. Um, Noble Phantasm, after a strengthening, is Le Gradamante de la Haine, Roar or Rage of Mine. It's a 10-hit Buster Noble Phantasm. Anti-Army that deals damage to a single enemy. Inflicts the buff block status to them for one time and then gain 30 crit stars. Uh, the damage is 800% at level 1 and at uh, MP level 5 it's 1200. Uh, it also inflicts cursed uh, for 5 turns to them which is 500 cursed damage at overcharge 1. And then if you get it all the way to the final charge level it's 2500. And most importantly she gets a costume dress which is the Shinjuku outfit which is a really nice outfit. And that's Jalter. Um... I, I don't know what really changed with her buff, but I know from my knowledge of early day Fago, Jalter is a really good unit. She was she used to be the go-to unit back in the day. If you had Jalter, that was usually enough to solo a vast amount of the story and stuff. I think most a lot of units have probably passed her a little bit, but I think she's still really good at dealing damage. And one of the things that she was missing was the fact that she couldn't, uh, she didn't have uh, an MP charger of any kind. And with this, she can actually be used with Double Vich, because you'll be able to get um, the 50% back for turn for cooldown for her cooldown down. What? That doesn't make any sense. Point is, it's very good. It's very nice that she got that. It also looks like they finally um, gave her a new animation, which just looks great. Uh, yeah, this is a great ass noble phantasm now. <laughs> now the problem is, is that uh, if you remember correctly, I cover NA stuff. <laughs> that means that we don't get this for another oh, two years or so. So really, the only reason that you would summon on Jolter now is that you love Jolter, which of course, all the more power to you. I've seen plenty of people go like, this might be my fourth copy of Jolter. In which case I say, yeah, go for it. 
Uh, Jalter's still probably a really good, solid unit, and if you're someone who really likes all uh gene or is okay with gene and can't wait for her to actually be buffed and use those new animations you can probably wait closer to two years when she gets another banner and will be released for the id summon um which will be in two years time it really is up to you um it's probably best to look at if you already planned for summon for jolter and you had all that stuff kind of waiting for you then this is perfect for you because all you have to do is wait the two years you play the long con game, and boom, your girl's ready on day one. For some other people who maybe are like late to the party and don't have the ability to pity her now, it might be a good idea to kind of like look for the future and be like, not this banner, not right now, not when she's near Castoria. Let me wait for a better time and kind of pick her up then, which is probably what I'm going to do, um, to be honest with you, because I would like actually jolt her. <laughs> Um, but I don't think that, uh, f uh, during the early years I did try and get her and I failed to get her. Um, and then thankfully I had enough units that I didn't care if I didn't have her or not because I also had Summer Jolter. But now she's back with the new Noble Phantasm, I think it's time to get it. And I've always also wanted Jolter for this outfit in particular. I think the Shinjuku outfits are fucking phenomenal. Really good stuff. So yeah, that's the banner that's coming out today. Best of luck to you if you go for either Miss Crane, if you went for Miss Crane or if you're going for Jolter. I know for a fact, people are going for Jolter. This Jolter shit, don't play around because they don't mess around. <laughs> they love their girl. And I want to give you all the luck in the world and wish you the best. So that's the end of this video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow because I have to talk about Yang. And then I'll see you Monday because I'll have to talk about shooting. So that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much. Till next time, peace out.